Hello there. In this session, I'm going to create an installer in ESET Protect Cloud for an ESET product. I'm going to go on the dashboard to the installer section where we can see any installers which are currently valid or in this instance expired. I'm going to create an installer where I can choose either Windows, Mac OS, Linux, or an Android iOS or iPad OS installer. You'll notice that with the various options, we have different options available for those installers. In this particular one, I'm going to create a Windows installer. There's some options here which are recommended, but obviously you would need to choose whether you want them on by default. I want to enable the ESET Live Grid feedback system. I want to enable detection of potentially unwanted applications. And I want to participate in the product improvement program. If I hover the mouse over the question mark for each of these options, it'll give us an overview of what it means to leave these on. You'll also notice that we have an end user license agreement. And in this instance, we're unable to ticket or unticket because, as you'll see here, we have already accepted the end user license agreement. I have some options here. I can download this installer now. I can copy it. I can send via email or I can customize. In this instance, I'm going to customize. When I choose customize, I get some options which I can choose down on the left hand side. You'll notice here that I can make a choice on my distribution model here. I can either download or send the installer or I can use the ESET remote deployment tool. I can use GPO or SCCM for deployment. I can choose what components I want to include. The management agent will need to be included by default so that this can be managed by this console. I can choose the security product. Again, I can participate in the product improvement program. And I can choose if I want these to be parts of any groups. If I want to customize more settings, I can choose the installer name and a description. I can also attach some tags for later access. I can look at an initial configuration. I can choose to configure the agent and I can enable any HTTP proxy settings. If I choose product setup, it's going to tell me what product I'm currently creating the installer for. If I want to change that, I can click on that link and choose the product that I want to install. I can also go to the advanced section here and change the language if I wish to do so. Once done, I just need to have an overview that I want to enable live grid, enable detection of potentially unwanted applications. I can allow the user to change protection settings during installation if I want to. And if I don't tick this, it will install it based on the settings that I've already done. Again, the end user agreement there is already ticked and I can customize more settings if I wish. I could embed a license into that if I wanted to do so, in which case I would see the license here. If I clicked on this, I would have a list of available license which were valid for this product. I could select a configuration if I wanted to embed a configuration into this. And if I didn't have one already created, I could choose to create a new one. And this would be settings from within the file to enable a configuration to already be applied when I install the product. If there is another AV product on the machine, I could enable the ESET AV remover to remove this prior to installing ESET. If I've chosen a different distribution method, then I could make a change here for how I'm going to distribute this product. Once done, I click on finish. It's created the installer, as you can see here. I have some options to copy the installer path. I can download the installer, or I can download the remote deployment tool and deploy this using the remote deployment tool. I can also send via email, where I'd need to put an email address and a name, which I would do by adding the options here. If 
I click finish, we'll see this is now saved in the installers list and we can see our creation time. And we can access this installer if we want to push this out by creating an installed task onto any clients which are currently on this domain.